Yo, I'm Kendra. We're, We're twins. twins. We, we love to watch. watch. And this, this is, is our reaction to the Loki final, final trailer. trailer and the new rock stars breakdown. Hey, hey guys, um, I'm back. Um, I was feeling a little under the weather and kind of made my sister do our very first trailer reaction by herself. And she also reacted to Godzilla vs. Kong, which is coming pretty soon. Although little Birdie told me that you guys want to see Aquaman first. A little Birdie, <laughs> a lot of Birdies. Yo, every comment. So... Oh, Invisible, Invisible, Invisible. <laughs> yo, 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 you got that Invisible yet? <laughs> but we now it's want... time to react to my favorite, um, my most anticipated, uh, the one that I have been waiting for. It's a Loki. Uh, we've missed so many trailers, um, and I've been so excited to see Tom Hiddleston back in the horns, and the green, and the leather. But I want to see my baby again. I miss him so much, um, and I'm just, I'm just really excited for him. So we're excited to react to this final trailer and the new Rockstars breakdown. They've always got some really good insights. We love Eric Voss. Um, Okay guys, before we get started, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. And now, let's get to the reaction! And now, a special look at Marvel Studios' original series, Loki. Maybe Loki wants to mix it up. Is that possible? Yep. He can change? Hi. This variant is insubordinate. <laughs> Unpredictable. Yeah. Variant Loki. God, I miss him. He's really arrogant. <laughs> yes, I, I am Loki. And I am hey, burdened you with glorious purpose. Unbelievable. Wherever you go, it's just death, destruction, the literal ends of worlds. I know. <laughs> he is not in the end. Two point, yes. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello, hey, it's baby. me. Um, it's Tom. Um, look, I'm I'm sorry He's to interrupt. Um, I just I I um I've noticed that in these long superhero montages, Loki tends to get you know a bit left out, That's even true. though they arguably don't he's incredibly out. heroic himself. You know, cunning. Before charming. it was cool, there was Loki. Uh, I could go on, but 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 maybe. But you're a villain. Why don't I just <laughs> prove it to you. Wednesdays anti-hero are the new Fridays. <laughs> Okay, baby. That logo is really starting. Um, uh, yeah, I'm really. Well, th that being said, I am actually really excited about this series. I love Loki. I've loved that character since uh, the first Thor movie, um, and I'm really happy to see Tom embracing the role for an entire television series on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so now that we've reacted to the final trailer, let us see what Eric Voss and them gotta say over at New Rock Stars. Welcome back to New Rock Stars. I'm Eric Voss, and Marvel's Loki has a new special look trailer with new clues and easter eggs and reasons to love this god of mischief for the he's Batman so he is. Because it can't so be easy to keep that smile on your face while watching so many worlds burn or while time hopping yeah, back got to a day on. like this. Oh. <laughs> so let's watch this special look and break it down as I try to explain the new shots mm. of Dimensions Between Dimensions so, so that we're all a little less lost when this series premieres. Let's go. And now a special look at Marvel Studios' original series, Loki. Maybe Loki wants to mix it up. Is that possible? He can change. Hi. All right. The special look opens on this wide shot of the Time Variance Authority archives, according to those wall signs in the lower left and right corners. Like all corners of the TVA headquarters, it's adorned by the massive looming statues of its three founders, the Time. I know he has somebody called the comics. These him. figures are created at the end of all time by a guy called He Who Remains, the final surviving TVA mm, agent. He's so old and wrinkly. The next Universal Cycle. Learn from the mistakes of the past. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mr. Burns. Agent's <laughs> retirement. I know it's bonkers, and I love it. But I suspect I love the that they go like through the comics because, you know, I don't read the comics. The way Loki's We're not comic reading. Shrine to himself and Ragnarok was toppled with Thor out in his trickery. One possibility for this subversion is that one of those timekeepers could have broken away from the other two to become the time-traveling villain, mm -hmm. Kang the Conqueror, based Ooh. on a similar appearance. 
appearance, Kang's longtime association with the TVA in the comics, his romantic history with Gugum Bakara's character, Ravona Renslayer, and the way Renslayer is framed in that timekeeper's lips. Right in front of Kang. <laughs> and of course, uh-huh. the next confirmed arrival to be played by Jonathan Majors in Yay, the Amanda Lewis movie. Yeah. 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 movie whose predecessor left that Easter egg of a quantum realm city widely oh. believed to be Kang's residence of Chronopolis. Quite Ooh. a run on way of me saying, I'm in the Kang. I never noticed I'm that. I'm in the Kang gang. Kang gang. Kang gang. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that. (gasps) That was Wyatt Russell. Oh, I need to rewatch that episode. In this burning field, we've seen another footage where a hooded figure attacks them. This is Sophia DiMartino's character, still unconfirmed but believed to be either Enchantress but more likely Lady Loki. An Lady Loki. Form of Loki. I think we're gonna get show, Lady Loki, Loki, Kid Loki, and they will carry from the, time the series. Lady Loki going on to further chaos, and now the loose end that our Loki is tasked with hunting down. Mm-hmm. Now, among the Chrono Monitor's gear here is the shovel. <laughs> With a glowing <laughs> clock on it, uh, maybe a kind of device to unearth what once was or what will be one day buried in a certain location, which Lady Loki is now trying to steal from the TVA. Then Owen Wilson's character, Mobius Immobius, defends the Loki variant. <laughs> well, then right they're saying, Loki wants to mix it up. Is that possible? He can change. <laughs> That's a really good well, Loki looking. What's his name? That's a good impression. Yeah. What makes him What's so his name? Untrustworthy. Eric. Loki checks in with the TVA clerk by the digging this vintage Oh, and Hotel Bell, just another example of the great retro production design of the series. Despite the TVA's seemingly infinite access and insight to the multiverse, their offices still use old-school desk bells and elevator doors, dot matrix printers, bulbous monitors, all these tangled awesome. wires, all as it's a way to that mix of old and limitations of their bureaucracy. Like they could be gods if not for their intricate, burdensome rules. And apparently, going rogue within the TVA, Loki gives this way. I'm <laughs> of that similar moment with Heath Ledger. I'm loving his outfit. Hi. 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 Molly, the god of mischief, but he's really arrogant. He's really nice, arrogant. a glorious wide shot in the full TV. Yeah, I love that it's shot. It's great. In a null time zone, a Marvel dimension that's kind of removed from time and space. Let's break down all the cool stuff we can see. Notice no, the white no, no. void backdrop matching the vacant backdrop behind the 3D grid of corner monitor desks in the comics. Now, we did see some of this in the last trailer from a lower angle where Mobius and Mobius and Loki were standing. Here you can see a pulled back angle with shuttles zipping among the platforms. And then this central tower propped up Atlas style by the timekeepers. Maybe this is their primary mission control. Look closely, ribboned around that platform is a oh. red orange beam that kind of angled crookedly. That is a really cool looking city. The time stream shown on the screens in the other trailer as Loki was splitting it. But above that ribbon is another projected ticker rotating clockwise, maybe showing updates to the way this time stream has been altered. And then as Red Slayer calls our Loki variant insubordinate, stubborn, and unpredictable, we see Loki using his sorcery to shapeshift during that stormy rocks card mission from soaking wet to dry. And then the moment when Mobius takes him to Pompeii, the moment of its destruction. We know this I is really hope we get to see him use more Pompeii sorcery and, and magic. The year Pompeii was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, that's the and one pet peeve I have Loki about the way that they've developed Loki's character is that his that sorcery just kind of is limited to reveal a knife. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I like the knives. <laughs> it's not really me. You know, no, that's it. Frigga was his mother. He can do some magic. Now, while this volcano is Mount Vesuvius, since obviously no one has video footage of that eruption, the Phoenix team here used the visual of the eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington State in 1980. And what's interesting about that is this is the same region of the Pacific Northwest where nine years earlier in 1971, D.B. Cooper's hijacked plane flew over en route from Portland to Seattle when he jumped out of that plane and was mysteriously never found except for a couple bills of the money he got floating around in the Columbia River. In that event, this series is justified as the doing of Loki. Add 
that to the sighting of the Polybius arcade game in urban He's gonna be so linked. cool. Government mind control conspiracy theories that originated in the Portland area in 1981. <laughs> so, while obviously we are looking at the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii in 79 AD, visually this series is pulling freaky historical references from a 10 year period in a very specific region of the United States. Why? Why? Don't you dare say Mephisto. I just Don't, don't you say it! We should definitely keep our eye on. Roll that final flip. The Illuminati. And I am violent with glorious oh, purpose. <laughs> Unbelievable, wherever you go, it's just death, destruction, the literal ends of worlds. <laughs> okay, once again, we see this awesome shot of a moon crashing into some planet's surface. It is really awesome. We could wow. be looking at the I need that as a desktop screen save. With gravity just given out, causing planets to collapse upon each other. Because notice how Mobius tells Loki, never where you go, literal death, destruction, the He's dying. His and while Loki's response, of, I know, is actually from a different scene in the cafeteria, not the this was your life scene where Loki's still in his detainee jumpsuit. Right, Loki yeah, is but... right. Loki has presided over the ends of civilizations from Asgard burning that to was Thor's to fault. new apocalyptic ends in this show, like Pompeii, like the ruins of mm -hmm. Manhattan yeah. after an alternate battle of New York where he wins. And then now this crashing moon. It is precisely this experience as the god of mischief that Mobius needs to repair a multiverse now unraveling by its seams. And to me, the most interesting shot here is this jagged rock ring yeah, suspended is that? in this kind of nebulous space upon the that axis shape of some so like was a piece of nowhere for a, a second, but... A space odyssey. This could be the last surviving chunk of real estate at the end of all time. After various planetary collisions, where he who remains creates the timekeepers, and or the final resting place of Kang Prime, as he feeds off chronal energy from the time stream as all past variants of the Kang Dynasty alter their histories Ooh. to benefit him. Now here, Loki declares, I am Loki, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. And that word again, glorious, which he utters when back at the top of Stark Tower in the other footage. Reliving the Battle of New York from the first event. I always love Loki's that is a costume. Shot. Loki from that Loki's era. costume is on one of my favorites. Mine too. In my whole stone, MCU. Loki further corrupted by its cosmic divine intelligence. By the way, we may be looking at a series with multiple Loki variants in one scene at a time. Yeah. Since what it shows us that we will see President Loki in the same kind of setting as a different Loki in TV. <laughs> His wig time. is looking pretty cute. Finally, they got that damn wig right. I thought it was good in the second Thor film. Oh, in Dark World. Yeah, too bad the film was in there. explained in a recent Big Question episode, that would classify this series and perhaps all of time travel in the MCU as what I call Type 4, this always happened in time travel. Which means that seemingly random, unexplained phenomena early in history are later revealed to be the results of time traveling. But you're gonna be happy with that. Confused? Don't you worry. You're in good hands with this time travel nerd who overthinks everything as your guy. Thanks, Eric. And so be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss. Subscribe to New Rockstars as we gear up for our Loki analysis. And support this channel by checking out our many great merch options at NewRockstarsMerch.com. Need to get some Rockstars merch. If they get a Loki shirt, uh, I'm, 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 I'll buy that. If they, uh, hey, Eric, if you do a Loki shirt, of course you're going to do a Loki shirt. Well, of course. Please, yes, do a Loki shirt and make it good. Make it great. Um, so that was also a lot. Um, yeah. but I guess the thing that really stood out to me was Kang's um involvement and all the little Easter eggs that sort of reflected and pointed to, you know, his involvement in the next, the, the next batch of, well, not just, you know, uh, this series, but like the next Ant-Man movie and, and the next batch of um, MCU movies. So I'm really, really excited to see uh, Kang's debut. Um, Kang gang, Kang gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the variants, the Loki variants. I yeah. can't wait to see, see how many different Lokis. Lokis. Yeah. I want to see the casting is interesting, but we'll see what she does with it. Um, and hopefully they do do Kid Loki. I heard some rumors that there were gonna be Kid Loki, so they had cast for Kid Loki already. So, you know, if that's true, um, I could see Ooh. Tom passing the baton over to yeah. what to these other actors. What kid? could possibly embody Kid Loki. I Cosplayers got to do see. it all the time. I know, but I just, I can't wait to see. Uh, that's going to be really interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are really excited. So and of excited. course, 
We're gonna be reacting to it. Um, Wednesday is a new Friday. Uh, obviously, there's only one editor here. Uh, well, maybe soon, soon, to, be soon two. to be two. I'm soon learning. to be two. Soon I'm learning. to be two. So hopefully, we can get our reactions up for you guys as, as quickly as possible. We have so much going on. A lot. A lot. Um, so please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that you have your notifications turned on uh, so that you don't miss a single reaction uh, to anything. Yes, or please review. like the video, please. Yes, please that like our video. That goes a long way in helping the channel out and you know getting us into the YouTube algorithm. Um, we're so happy that we are almost at 3,000 subscribers. Yay! Like, thank yeah! you guys so much for your support, and thank you guys for the people who wish me well. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you when Loki premieres in June. So excited! Until then.